Hello, this is me stood in front of a projection that's probably just a little over 100 inches, looking very impressed because this projection is from this tiny little L1 mini projector. This was kindly sent to me for review, and when you get the box, it doesn't look like much. When you open it up, you'll see this tiny DLP projector. It comes with everything you need to get started, a little getting started guide, which to be honest, you don't even need to refer to. It has a remote and the various cables to get things connected. And it's got a really nice addition of a mini tripod. So no matter where you go, you don't need to carry a big tripod with you. You could use this little mini one, which opens up and you can just attach this to the top. And this, as you can see, is a tiny little box. It's 3.2 by 3.2 by 1.2 inches. It fits in the palm of the hand. Battery lasts about two to two and a half hours. There's a power switch on the side and a lock for when you're traveling. And then around the back, Headphones out, USB in, HD in, power and reset button, memory card on the side, it can support up to 32 gig and on the bottom is the tripod standpoint and you can see it has 2 gig of RAM and 16 gig of ROM. The top section features a really cool touch panel so this is how you can control it without a remote, all this is touch sensitive so when you've got it projecting it's very easy to control it has auto keystone adjustment so as i move this through an arc you can see the picture automatically adjusting and you can ceiling mount this as it will detect that and flip the image upside down now i haven't had a chance to try this outside because the weather just hasn't been particularly helpful it's been absolutely chucking it down so instead i've tried this in the bedroom and the picture quality is very good it projects really clearly on the wall you do need it to be dark though in very light conditions it's not powerful enough to project uh, strongly over bright sunlight it comes with android 9 and you have access to the play store so you can install your favorite apps and games it also has Bluetooth on board, so you can connect speaker or headphones. The interface is very easy to use, either the touch control or using a remote, and it comes with a load of apps pre-installed for you to check out. I tried streaming one of my YouTube videos and it looked really good on the wall. That's me outside in sunny times. The sound quality is okay. You probably, if you're going to want to watch something, you're probably going to want to use headphones or Bluetooth speaker. If you lose the remote, you can simply use that touch panel on top and on screen a little cursor appears and you can drag that around but as you can see the image might move so you are poking and prodding the projector so i do find it better to use the included remote rather than the touch controls now you may have spotted at the start when i showed you i was projecting onto a large wall it came up with xbox and that's because i wanted to try this out with the xbox game pass and it does work so here you can see I'm streaming a game. The Xbox isn't on. This is coming from Microsoft's cloud service. I do have to say though, I did move the box downstairs to be close to the router. Upstairs, the service just wasn't quite good enough. And that was true also of the Steam app. So this is the Steam Link app running on Android on the little box connecting to my computer. Again, I had to move the projector a bit closer because the network just wasn't fast enough upstairs. When I tried to run the Xbox Cloud games, it took a long time to load and then it just hung on the intro screen and eventually it started, but it was very jerky. That's more a problem with my internal network and the apps I was using than this box. This box has performed really well. Pitch quality is very good, even when you expand it out to 100 plus inches. The included TV app works very well. The streaming apps are brilliant. If I had a wish list of feature requests, I'd want an air mouse, one where you can just spin it around in the air and that controls the cursor on screen rather than having to click the buttons all the time. I'd also want it to auto focus rather than have a manual focus. Be cool if I could just switch this on, point it to the wall and it sets itself up as I've seen competitors do. And finally, as this is a travel gadget, a travel projector, I would have liked to have seen this come with some sort of travel case as well because packing everything back in the little box can prove to be a little bit tricky. None of these are deal breakers, they'd all just be nice little extras. And overall, I found this to be an excellent little Android projector. If you want to learn more, I will put links in the description below. Hit subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you on my next video.